Hi YouTubers, this is part 3 of the Talbot Express engine mount or mount and um, I'm working on the right hand engine mount which is down here and the, to do this you need to remove the spare wheel the spare wheel carrier which comes across here and um, I'm removing the air filter casing and the air intake to the casing because the mount is down there and I should be able to get at it more easily. This is what the engine mount looks like. Engine gearbox mount on the right hand side. And the new one is modified. And the modification is the unit is all in one, like this. So I'm going to have to jack the engine up and uh, loosen the bolts and just see what happens. Um, you don't actually need to remove this totally. If you undo the air intake which is here, you know this bent here to the filter um, and twist it round you can get at it now. Okay the engine mount is off. This is the old one which is this bit's got to come off that goes on the engine or gearbox and uh, it's a two-part one and the new one the modified one is a single part one like that Looks completely good. this has got some cracks in it there and there and uh, not too bad a job to get it off I shall lubricate the bolts before they go back in so they're a bit easier and uh, it looks like for the rear bolt here because of the fuel tank filler um, it looks like uh, you need to take that off but you don't if you've got a, one of these universal joints like this and your sockets there it works now the sockets I'm using I'm using sidewise uh, if I can find it 17 millimeter and 18 millimeter and a 14 millimeter to do this job. Well, that's it mounted, and uh, this one at the back can be a bit of a bugger because that's a fuel pipe filler. And the only other one which is awkward is this one because my sockets won't go through this hole here. But what I've found will go through is a spark plug spanner. It's not the correct size, but it, um, I should be able to tighten it up and riz me well now. And it's raised the engine quite a bit in the engine compartment. It just shows you how much the old one has sagged.